where you are obliged to meet a weight criteria. I wouldn't say it's advisable to set weight targets or body weight targets for the actual show itself. Jello Beats, holla at me. Hey guys, so welcome back to another contest prep update. It is Monday the 12th of June and I am nine, well just under nine weeks out from my first show of the season. So how have things gone this week? It's been a bit of a different week, obviously traveling to a show, like being away a little bit for a night and that's the only real difference that has been or happened this week. But regardless of that, it's been so good. Like, so good. It makes me so pumped when I just have these weeks that carry momentum into moving forwards. And I, I, I look at those weeks and I just really try and reverse engineer them. I really try and think, okay, what did I do for that week to be really good? Was it something that I did to manage my stress? Was it something that I did to sort of make sure I slept well or, or, or was I really on point with my nutrient timing and like what did I do because it was just so efficient. My weight dropped pretty much all week at a bit of a higher sort of weigh in on the Monday and then obviously I weigh myself every day, it was sort of, sort of just trickling down, trickling down, trickling down. Had a refeed Friday, I woke up I think 0.4 up after like sort of almost 3,500 calories. So that was good. And then dropped to a new low Sunday morning, 162. So I imagine guys, like it's not always so sensible to set, oh I need to be this weight, unless you're sort of competing in a weight category where you are obliged to meet a weight criteria. I wouldn't say it's advisable to set weight targets or body weight targets for the actual show itself because the goal is to have the best balance of conditioning, muscularity, fullness, maintaining your symmetry, etc. So if you chase a scale weight number, it's likely that you'll lose one of those variables along the way. Whether that's trying to be too big and not be coming in condition, whether it's trying to chase purely condition and not remembering that you have to have some level of muscularity. So it's all about being the best bodybuilder and that's not really like correlative with just scale weight. But I do imagine that my stage weight will be around the mid 150s, which is crazy. I mean, man, I was, as a teen in 2015, I was on stage at 143. Wow, like, that's a lot of muscle mass that I've potentially gained, like lean tissue, because you know, I, 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 I'm I not ready. Like, I'm not ready now, I'm just not. But in nine weeks, like, I'm confident. I'm very confident that I will be ready around about sort of the low low to mid 150s, which that's, that's really cool. That's just so cool. And uh, wow, something paid off in the off season, right? I did something right, because I've managed to gain a lot of tissue. So, you know, guys, it proves that, you know, a year off season as a young competitor, if you, f you, if you, sorry to swear, but if you fucking nail it, guys, you can put on slabs, like serious slabs of tissue that, that, will, that will represent itself not only in your physique massively, but on the scale as well. So, very, very good week in terms of scale weight losses and sort of body weight loss and also changes like seeing pictures. Namely, at the moment, just most of the changes that I do see are the slight hardening up of my upper body, slight, but mainly if I see scale weight drops now, it's all off my lower body. It's like all off quads, I've still got quite a like, decent amount to come off, and then hamstrings and glutes, like, they're areas that are really going to have to be the, the, the final bits that, that just do come off, and they will. It's just they take longer and longer, but the glutes are sort of like taking shape now. So like they have a shape to them as opposed to sort of like they just look like nothing was there really. Like there's no sort of like blocky definition. But now the block of the glute is set in. Now it's about 
the really disgusting part that that makes bodybuilders look right on stage as as Nunes says he says we've got to look right and to look right you have to be pretty fucking lean so great week in that regard in terms of training pretty much a, a solid week again like pushes pushing movements so bench press OHP becoming really difficult to retain or or def like there's minimal signs of progression on those movements there they're moves that i'm really focusing hard on just retaining and just making sure that my form doesn't go to shit so retain 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 on my pushes my pulls still going well I'm still pulling in one rep in one regard definitely not pulling anywhere else no i'm not doing that no. bruh um but yeah, pulls, pulls are going well, and lower body going exceedingly well. Squats felt sublime this week, like so good. The first squat session on Tuesday wasn't amazing. One on Friday, just something was right. I refed on that day, I had a ton of food, just felt good, I was in a good mood, and that, oh, 160 kilos, one, 160 kilos at 162 pounds body weight for three sets of 12. That's not too shabby, is it? Really, isn't too shabby. It was, it was a great set. Like I, I just, just everything felt right on that set. So, very happy with those, uh, those lifts and how my lower body is coming on in terms of keeping hold of numbers or progressing. Like deadlifts still going well as well. So it's most part down to leverages and how leverages change. And I think again for this week, this week, so it being Monday. We're, we're not going to make any sort of like adjustments because I was 0 0.9, pretty much a pound. It was pretty much pounds, like 0 0.99 down on average. So there's no need to make a change. And this is something that I wanted to sort of like give you a, a topic or a, a bit of advice on is that when you do see a good week of progress and usually if you've had past experience of dieting, you'll be able to know when you should make a change or when you shouldn't, even when things are going good. So at the moment, I don't see the point in making a change. Like my morning weight this morning was really, really good. The good thing about coaching myself is I can potentially intervene and make like a midweek change because I know sort of at like nine weeks out, you know, the pressure's coming on, pressure's coming on. So if I do need to make sort of midweek changes, I sometimes do that. But most of the time I ride it out for a week and I haven't actually made changes for a couple of weeks now. So there will be a change on the horizon for sure, but I reckon I can get another good week out of this and, and get some more some more fat loss and probably see some 161s and definitely getting closer to the 160s and then obviously breaking into the 150s will be the next sort of milestone. But I definitely think that I can get some good weight loss continuing on 330 grams of carbs, 50 fat and 200 protein. So still good calories. Um, that's six times per week and then one times one 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 time per week I'm having a refeed of 600 grams of carbs 50 fat and then 170 to 180 protein it depends where it falls but that's a really good day like feed up good few days of training performance good few days of fullness take my progress pictures on a Saturday usually post refeed where I look sort of my fullest and where I potentially would look to do that sort of process for a peak week so I just get a really good idea as to how I look but definitely happy with how I looked this Saturday I did my update pictures in a, a premiere in uh, with really really natty lighting and I was just very happy with how I looked I sent them sent them across to a few people I really really trust and that are keeping a second eye on me and they were happy and, and thought, thought that I'd made sort of good progress since the last time they'd seen me so that was good very confident and yeah just generally in a really really good place Training's going well. I'm not feeling completely fried. I have my days where I don't feel good. Trust me, I like have them. But other than that, all things going well. So yeah, no changes for next week, guys. And we'll just keep this progress going, hopefully. Keep keep the process rolling. Um, definitely sort of can feel changes and just like feeling my body, feeling my glutes, like weirdly. But it's definitely going well. I'm just And I'm just pumped. Like watching the, the UK DFBA over the weekend was exciting because the, the the junior winner was was something very special like he was very very good and that's motivating for me like i don't i don't ever look at people like that and just think fuck like gets i i don't i don't get necessarily get worried i just get motivated because he's he was seriously good seriously good 
and uh, that that that's just cool to me. I like seeing. I like. I love the sport of bodybuilding so much that when I see competitors that are good, I'm like, wow! Like kudos to you. Like hats off to you. Really good. So yeah, I'm pumped. I'm motivated, and uh, yeah, looking forward to another week. So guys, stay tuned. I'll keep you up, uh, keep you updated. Obviously on the Instagrams etc. Throughout the week, and then we'll do another update next weekend. And yeah, nine weeks out. Cheers for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.